Hi. Can we just check on team news to start with? Um, is Will Hughes going to be fit to play in this one? And any other team news you can tell us about? Sorry? Um, the team news for this game. Is Will Hughes available for selection? Um, is he fit to play in this game? Mm, yeah, it's okay. The play is okay. We don't have more injury players at the moment. So he's, he's, he's okay. How is Troy Deeney's rehab going? I was talking with him today about different things. Uh, he's, the, he's really positive with the feelings. I think in a few weeks he could be able to play. So he could be playing in October, you think? I think, yeah. In two, three weeks it would be okay. Um, Kike, this uh, game with Sheffield United feels like a must win game. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we are not uh, preparing matches, we are preparing finals. It's like this. But uh, anyway, I'm really happy with the response of the players in the training ground. It's uh, two different things we are training with them. It's the muscles and the tacticals and everything is one thing. And the mental uh, health is, is another thing. So we need to prepare about the brain. We need to, to prepare the, to train this muscle because it's the main muscle right now. So I think the players, they, they want, they train very hard. They know that we need to try harder if we want to improve. But uh, all of us, we, we have the conscience about the situation. The situation is not good, it's, it's at, the, at the moment we know. But uh, the positive uh, things is that we have many, many matches to play, so many finals, so we have uh, chances. We, at the moment we, we can um, get a good results, we are able to change the situation, but we need to win. So that's why this is the first opportunity we have this week. We know the opponent is really tough, it's very confident, they are really good, but I think we have the necessary players, the necessary squad to try to win. The table does look scary, two points from seven games, yeah. but things can change quickly. Yeah. What would a win do for morale here? We need to, to live back. We, we don't, we can't, we shouldn't, sorry. We shouldn't train with this kind of uh, heavy weight in our back, uh, thinking about what happened before. What happened before is past. There's nothing can help us about to change the, the past. So the only thing we are interested in is about the future. The future is in two days, we need to play. They are training well. We are positive in every single message, me message we are giving in the, in the dress room. They understand everything. They are really clever guys, clever players. They can play much better, they can, they can, they should pay attention for the legal details, it's, inter it's very interesting, and of course we are working in the way to don't concede many, many opportunities to the, to the opponent to, to cause some problems for us. How much pressure personally do you feel under to win this game? I don't have pressure, I'm sorry, but I don't feel pressure, I feel, I feel responsibility, this is the, the word. I don't feel pressure. I'm happy here. I'm happy in my home. I'm happy in everywhere I can. I can be. It's not about how pressure I have. I feel good. I feel perfect. I don't. Ass I assume all the results of the team since the beginning of the of the season because it's the situation we are leading now. But um, I can assume any more. So now is the next match. Is uh, uh, how we can prepare. How we can play. We have many many parts of the match against Arsenal or against Swansea when the team was playing well. Yeah, so this is what we need to do, to repeat the training again, 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 to improve and try to, to, to do well. You still maintain you're the man to save what for this season? Excuse me? You still believe you're the man to save what for this season? I believe a lot. I know how uh, the victory can change the mentality of everywhere, everyone. So yeah, we are looking, we are working within the war on the in the way we can find the solution, and the solution is to win, because it's the only thing we can change the, the model of the players. But it's not uh, a drama. Now it's a it's a bad situation. It's a it's a bad start, but it's not drama. I I, I refuse to train or to go to the match thinking this is a drama. This is not a message for the fans. The fans want to know that we are ready, that we are hard, that we are we believe in everything and that we are able to win. So this is what they want to hear and is what they believe. Um, Paul Abbas was booked again last week. Mm -hmm. He's already got four yellow cards. Mm -hmm. He's got 39 yellow cards mm -hmm. in 106 games. Yeah. How can you defend? Yellow, car yellow cards, uh, red cards, talking 
about the character of the players. I want players with character in my team. Isn't that a bit of a liability though, having a, a record that poor? You know, you know what happened with the records. You need to beat <laughs> the records. <laughs> <laughs> Have you spoken to him at all, though, about his disciplinary record? It depends. About the, the yellow cards, it's, it's always about the, how aggressive the players. I agree, because I want the, the players, the football is aggressive in, in, around the world. So it's not about... I, am, I don't like when the players uh, get uh, cards because they protest or they are doing something that's not uh, interesting for the team. He is defending the, some position. He is because they are, uh, he is aggressive because he is uh, focused in the match and finally get uh, some yellow card. Okay, it's okay, it's fine. We've been speaking to to Decore this morning. Um, he admits his own form hasn't been as good as it can be. How happy have you been with Decore? How much more can you improve? In in this kind of situations, uh, the players obviously they are not giving the best version. If they give the best version, we are in a different uh, situation. But it's not because they don't want. It's because they, they, they maybe they couldn't before, or maybe because sometimes the dynamics uh, they didn't change. But we are on time for everything. The last four uh, games, we lost two, we draw one, we win one. So we don't have this kind of uh, really bad. Grow in the last four matches that we can think that everything is really bad. So we try to get the best bits of the last matches. We, we, we win or we draw, or try to forget what happened when we lost, to analyze the players now. They are training well. They are giving, they are watching a lot of images of themselves, how they play, why we can see the space, why the, we receive easy goals. They are watching that, these kind of things. It's not about just the stuff, how we analyze. They are watching themselves, and it's the best training. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay Will, from okay. Uh, Premier League Productions. Oh, yeah. um, how different a scenario is this from your first month and your first spell here at Watford? How different does it feel for you? Respect the first time I, I came here. Well, the scenario four years ago was really bad also because uh, every time we were to Hermes Pre Mes uh, Press Media, they say, remember the last year, they saw uh, um, four coaches and everything, so my start was under pressure, super still. But finally, it was an amazing year, and the start was to believe. It's about the same. It's about how we believe four years ago about how it was possible to stay, to keep the category with this team. So now we have better squad. It's true that they, all of the teams, they have better squad than four years ago, but I believe a lot. I have the same coach, positive, always believing in the players, always working really hard, trying to correct the facts, correct mistakes. Uh, it's impossible to go to the, the match by match. It's not correcting things, not uh, trying to to improve. So this is the same category of uh, players, the same category of staff, the same feelings. Um, the most important thing is we are, we are looking for we are looking for 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 a style. It's not about it's just if you win or you lose. If we lose, at least we need to lose with some style, looking for something. So now we are working in some, in some style. We are working, we are saying to the players how we want to play. We don't want to play in the way the, the, the opponents invite to play. It's like uh, last, last, last weekend. The Wolves invite us to play in one way, but it's not uh, what we want. So we want to play in some style. We define this kind of a style and to improve with it, our style. You mentioned the word style, and that's, yeah. a, that's a key word. Is it difficult to change the style of a football club? No, no, I don't think it's, It depends on the players you have, but our squad is really, uh, how do you say, when you come, it's, uh, you have a word in English, I don't remember. Like we, we, yeah. We, we, it's, it's not polyvalent, no, it's, uh, yeah. Flexible, flexible, yeah. We have flexible players. We can play in different, in different uh, positions. We can ch uh, change shapes, uh, structures. We can change a lot of things. So I'm not worried for that. I think we are able to do different things with them. The style is more about on the way how quick we reorganize the team when we lose the ball, how few spaces we concede to the opponent, when we want to defend, when we, in what part where we want to recuperate or gain the ball. How we can play in the side, how we can play, you know, this is a style. To take habits, 
and then repeat the habits, the good habits. This is the, 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 the style. What are you most worried about? No, I don't think, as I, 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 told, I told you before, it's about the, the brain, this muscle. Because right now, this, uh, the players in, not in Watford, in heavy, uh, around the world, they are more sensible. You, uh, you, uh, you could see things that it was impossible to see 10 years ago or 15 years ago, when you say one team took a row, a bad row, uh, the consecutive seven matches, they lose. And then, one day they win, and they take a row, positive row, and they win seven games together consecutive. So, this, it's something changed in the, in the mentality of the players. They are more sensible to the results now. In our period, we lost, okay, go for the next one. We, we win, go for the next one, we win again. We lost again, again, strong. And now you need to care, and you need to, uh, to train the brain of the player, because we are in, in other times. We are in other times, and they are very really sensible, and they go down really easy, but they can go up very easy too. So that's why we are trying to find the effect of the win to go up. Is that what you meant by the word insecurities? Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, it's insecurities. But this is for everyone. It's not just in our team. You can feel, you can feel you have other examples in London, very close of us. The teams, how can change too much in, in one month, in two months, in three months? How is it possible to change too much? Because its position is really high. At the moment you have problems, you have some problems, the other teams go to you. So, well. so that's why you need to protect yourself and then you are ready to, to, comp to be competitive. You said it's a must-win game for Sheffield United, but how mm -hmm. significant would it be to get those three points, given that it would be your first win back here? It would, be, it would be okay, it would be okay, because uh, I have the feeling when, when I got the, the first win against Swansea, because for us, every single match is important. It's important for the players also. So, it's the feeling, feeling was amazing in the dressing room. The dressing room, the, 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 it's the best vitamin, the best medicine, what, what you can do to the players, because they, it looks, it means energy for the players. It's what we need right now. Positive energy is what we want to translate to the players. Last one for me. Um, is Mayla Saar and Danny Welbeck, two signings which came in over mm -hmm. the summer. Um, did they have the quality to, to help you get out of this situation, the mess as you yeah. describe it? We have few strikers and they have different qualities, different skills, different uh, mm, ways to play. So for us it's important, it's just two weeks we're training with them, but we need to know how they mix between them. If we need the space, probably we want to run to the space, we want to put the, the fast ones. If we're to mix, we have players to mix. We have grey, we can mix with faster ones. Or also the Lefebvre, another ones. We have a lot. So now the important is how confident they can be. And they try how clever they are in the beach. Because there is no, it's, it's my worry with the, play, the strikers now is not all how they they can play or how is the skill. Uh, for me, it's how they can understand what they have to do under pressure. Because when you are under pressure, it's difficult for you to understand everything. For, for me, it's important how clever they are. Because finally, when you attack, it's how you keep the space. And you keep the, the space better if you understand where is the space. So they need to understand the pressure now, right now. The, that's why the exit for the players, sometimes you can say, Ah oh, no, the players they are a little bit lazy, or maybe they react late. It's very very clear, right? They are right they, right now. They, they are reacting late, but they don't react late because they want. They react late because something go down themselves. So we need to change that part. Too. Okay, thank you, thank you. Hey, where are you going? Click here for more videos. <laughs>